Continuing with the chapter of gases, the next law you are going to learn is the ideal gas law. And the ideal gas law is PV equals NRT. The thing you should note over here is, uh, use the unit of P in atmosphere, vol volume in liters, and number of moles in moles are at 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere Kelvin mole. And as always, temperature should be in the unit of Kelvin. So it's a unit of R, you should be careful. A little rearrangement of the ideal gas equation, PV equals NRT, gives the second equation which I have written there, G equals PM over RT, where T is the density, P is the pressure, M is the molar mass, R is the gas constant, and T is the temperature. And uh, another thing you have to remember in this is, one mole of a gas at STP occupies a volume of 22.4 liter. The condition of STP is pressure is 1 atmosphere and the temperature is 273 Kelvin. Calculate the volume occupied by 15.2 grams of carbon monoxide gas at 75 degrees Celsius and 825 millimeter pressure. The value of R is also given. So the equation I'm going to use is PV equals NRT. Point to be noted is P should be in atmosphere, volume should be in liters, N in moles, and R we are going to use 0 0.08206, and temperature should be converted to Kelvin. Otherwise, the question is pretty simple. So the first step is I will con convert the 825 millimeter to uh, atmosphere by dividing it by 760, and then volume we have to calculate. And the number of moles is not given, but the mass is given 15.2 grams, divided by the molar mass of carbon monoxide. The value of R is given, and the temperature converted into Kelvin, and uh, calculate the volume, and the uh, unit of volume will be in liters. 4.20 moles of a gas has a volume of 669 milliliter at 63.1 degrees Celsius, calculate the pressure. A simple question, everything is given, except that the volume is given in milliliter. We have to convert that into liters, substitute all the values and calculate the value of pressure. Remember to change the temperature to Kelvin and use the value of R as 0 0.08206. Calculate the molar mass of 0.282 grams of a gas that occupies a volume of 29 milliliter at 4.25 atmosphere and 345 Kelvin. So the formula I am going to use is, since the molar mass is passed, the formula I will use will be G equals PM over RT. Density is not given, but definitely I can calculate it from the mass given and the volume given. I am calculating the density in the unit of grams per liter because the volume unit should be in liter if I am going to use um, R as 0 0.0806. So then I have all the values, I calculated the density, pressure is given, it is in atmosphere, molar mass has to be calculated, R we know the value and uh, Kelvin temperature is already given and hence the molar mass can be calculated. The molar mass comes as 64.0 grams per mole. Calculate the ma mass of argon that has a volume of 759 milliliter. Pressure is 968 millimeter and the temperature is 83.2 degrees Celsius. Formula is PV equals NRT. But as you know, I want the pressure in atmosphere. Therefore, convert millimeter to atmosphere. Then I want the volume in liters, so use convert 759 milliliter to liters. The rest of the values you have, the only other thing is convert temperature to Kelvin. Calculate the value of number of moles. Since they have asked for the mass, if I multiply number of moles by the molar mass of argon, I can get the mass of argon. Calculate the volume occupied by 7.62 gram of chlorine at STP. The second part is I need to calculate the mass of chlorine to be added to make it to a volume of 13.8 liter 
under the same condition. So the first step I will do is to calculate the moles of chlorine. Grams is given, molar mass of chlorine we know, so I get the moles of chlorine. And I also know that one mole of a gas under standard temperature pressure condition occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. So I will use this to calculate the volume of chlorine and the volume of chlorine comes as 2.40 liters. Now this is only the first part. We will go ahead and learn and do the uh, B part also. The second part of the problem, calculate the mass of chlorine to be added to make it to a volume of 13.8 liters at STP. We already did the first part in the previous thing. So now the first step I will be doing is to calculate the moles of chlorine. So the volume is given. From the volume we know that one mole occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. So I get the moles of chlorine uh, is 0 point, 0 0.616 and from the moles of chlorine I can get the mass of chlorine using the molar mass. Once I get the mass of chlorine, I know that this must be the mass to occupy a volume of 13.8 liters and therefore uh, mass of chlorine that I have to add to get this much will be the difference of the two masses and that comes as 36.1 grams. So all these questions are based on the fact that one mole of any gas at STP occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. 